I I'm so annoyed by this. Yeah, I have to agree with that uh, that speech. Exactly. The funny thing is, she is still active. She's active on the AOD channel, and she does have another channel that she is doing things from. Um, so no, she is not gone, on the contrary. I know for a fact that she is still in a Skype group that discusses me on a daily basis. The same Skype group that Changi was in it where they decided to track my channel down. You must be a very interesting person, Tyler. Me? Very yeah, I'm, I'm totally... I'm, I'm. Well, I, I take up a lot of their time, apparently, because they're so worried about me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, let me tell you why these people are causing this drama. I joined them a while back, actually in... January, I joined that what I thought was a regular collab channel. We have collab channels on YouTube where several people upload content and work together on collab videos and stuff. I joined them thinking it was just a regular collab channel after Eli herself asked me to join. Then at some point, they turned around and tried to tell me that a friend of mine was a really evil asshole and he did something so horrible and blah 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 and I said wait a minute I, I know him he's not that type of person there must be a misunderstanding of some sort so Eli at that point said well I don't have time to talk about it I'll fill you in on it later in the meantime that friend of mine came online and having seen that Eli kicked him out of several group chats I figured, hey, this is my chance to find out what happened, you know. So I approached him. I'm like, look, uh, what's going on? You've been kicked out of all these group chats. Is there a problem of some sorts? And he told me what actually happened. Or, well, told me his version of what happened. I'm like, okay, because I know how you are, and then I know how you can sound harsh in some ways to some people that don't know you well enough. I think there is a misunderstanding. Let me talk to the other person involved and find out if the story matches because I think I see where the misunderstanding is. So next time Eli comes on, in all caps she types to me, don't talk to blah 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 about this entire thing. It's an AOD matter now. I'm like, look Eli, I already talked to him. And I think it's all a misunderstanding. So let me talk to the other guy and we'll figure it out because I'm fairly sure it's a simple misunderstanding that can be easily solved. So, yeah, it was the AOD. So, they pulled me into a group call with Elon, Miss Pure Fiction, and the other guy there. And after me basically poking, like, come on, tell me your version of the story because I do want to hear both sides. I consider you both friends. I really would like to hear your version because I do think I know what happened. He told me his version and it pretty much confirmed what I thought, but instead of allowing me to actually clear that up, Eli and Miss Pure Fiction told me to stay the fuck out of it and to not talk to anyone about it. Eli talked down to me like you wouldn't believe and Miss Pure Fiction pretty much told me you blabbed to him before, so we won't tell you anything, and you need to be sure that this meeting was confidential. And I told him, you know what, if you want it that way, fuck you, I'm out. Because you're not going to talk down to me. And then Eli turned around and was like, well, I am in charge of you. I'm like, no, you're not. Um, it was a whole bunch of bullshit. So basically, I left. That was it. I left because they were stuck-up idiots that didn't want a peaceful solution to a minor problem. Yeah. I thought that would be it. But the very next day, Miss Pure Fiction had stalked me through all kinds of comment sections, leaving dodgy comments, like with double meanings, on several comments I had left 
on various other people's videos. You know, the thing you do where you just watch a video and you comment on it. She followed me around from comment to comment to comment, responding to me. They, pretty much all of them, um, hi Michael, we're just talking about a situation here. Pretty much all of them hinting at the fact that I had to quit working because of my health and basically making it look like I was a lazy bum that just wanted more time to spend online. So I ended up blocking her, but pretty much ignored it. I, I mean, I pulled her off on Skype, but pretty much ignored it. A couple of days later, I get sent a Skype log where Eli grills a friend of mine, trying to find out whether I told him anything, which I hadn't, so he had nothing to tell her. He's like, well, what the fuck do you want? And she pulled this whole story out of her ass like, Tanya rage quit. She came into the chat and she had a fight. And my friend was like, oh, so you and her had a fight. No, she had a fight all by herself. Um, yeah, like that's possible. It, it, it pretty much went totally crazy, right? My friend even thought she has a screw loose. The way she acted in there. So the entire shit, it, it kept going and going and going, and they kept poking me over and over and over again, right, and talking shit to all my friends about me, which is why I finally made one single video in which I ate a donut, and I linked to my blog where I actually posted the story of why I left. And after that, all hell broke loose. That's when the rape shaming accusations came about, etc., etc., etc. So just complete idiots. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. they didn't like my donut yeah, eating no, video. They thumbed to. down my donut eating <laughs> video. I mean, like, they with all their sock accounts, you're right, they went to my donut eating video. And thumb down my donut video. Fucking retard. There's a lot of yeah, stuff that's basically, bad for you. Yeah, basically yeah, exactly. They've pretty much been after me since. And every once in a while, I responded to them. But most of the time, I ignored them. They have, by now, on their sock accounts, made over a hundred and. videos about me. 140 fucking videos about me, talking about my sex, children, well, the name, well, kind of things they, I still They definitely do. got some uh, material when to use for the violent people I ignored bit. their asses. Yeah, that's just, I'm, I'm such an evil person though. Yes, I am. I am so evil. Yes, exposing them for what they are. That's the worst thing anyone could possibly do to poor AOD. Yes, I'm evil. Yes, yes she is evil. Haven't you noticed? Why do you think I wear the hat? It's so I can hide my horns. That's why I'm wearing this hat. Because if I take it off, you'll see my horns. <laughs>